Hello friends of YouTube, uh, today um, I will talk about uh, some special uh, characteristics about some languages. Um, I, I, find it, I find it very interesting, so I wanted to share it with you. I don't know if you, if you already knew that, that. but uh, let's start with Turkish language. Turkish language, uh, what a special... In a Turk in Turkish language or in Arabic, you can make a sentence without a verb. You don't need the verb to be. For example, you can say uh, uh, you you can say sentences without. Uh, in English, you would have you would have to put be, but there in uh, Turkish, you don't have to put the, the verb be, and nor in Ar in Arabic. So, for instance. Um, uh, I am in the market. Let's say this sentence in Arabic. Ana fi suqi. Ana fi suqi. Ana means I. Fi mean, means in. Suqi means market. Ain, I in market. So it's possible to make a sentence without any verb. Okay, let's switch to... Yeah, in, in, the, in Turkish, you can have a word which is longer than... I don't know 22 letters because um, they just um, stick some uh, suffixes uh, just right, just uh, after the word and you can have a sentence in one word uh, because they just put all uh, uh, together so um, an example would be um, ev means uh, house uh, evim means my house Evimde means in my house. You just add the particles like in Japanese, but it's a little bit de uh, different. So evim, ev alone is house. Evim is my house. I think it's like this. Evimde in my house. And you can uh, just add uh, suffixes like this. So this is uh, one very interesting thing about Turkish language. If you learn Korean or Japanese, you absolutely have to try it. Turkish. It's a wonderful language and very cool. Uh, I highly recommend you to learn Turkish. It's very cool. And about Arabic, Arabic and Hebrew, I think it's they are the only languages which are uh, uh, used nowadays that don't write vowels uh, in um, colloquial um, newspa newspapers or other things you don't get the vowels you just get you just get the um, this light is a little bit off okay uh, you don't write a, you don't write the vowels okay let me adjust this uh, okay another interesting thing would be uh, English and French which is what is special about English and French those two languages are the only languages spoken on the five or six, I don't know, continents. In uh, American continent, it's obvious you speak English. In Europe, you speak English. In UK, Ireland, and that's it. And in Asia, you speak English in Hong Kong or in India. Uh, in, and you speak it, of course, in New Zealand and Australia. French, you can speak it in Quebec, in Canada. You can speak it in France, Belgium, Switzerland, Swiss, Swiss, yeah, I was mixing English and Dutch, Swiss, uh, France, Belgium, uh, Morocco, uh, Algeria, Chad, other, a lot of uh, Mali, other African, lang uh, African countries, and uh, a lot of uh, islands, uh, a little bit, Nouvelle Calédonie, or I don't know, um, uh, a lot of islands and you can still find some uh, people who speak French in Vietnam Cambodia but less in Cambodia more in Vietnam and uh, yeah this is what is special about French and English and Thai Thai and uh, Cambodian what is special about Thai in Cambodian well Cambodian uh, it's the longest alphabet. I, I don't remember 78 letters or something like this. It's the longest alphabet uh, in the world. And um, the, what, is, what is special about Thai and Cambodian 
uh, writing it's that uh, Thai for example this is a consonant Thai you can put the vowel under under the consonant just right left or uh, just above and you can do this also in Cambodian in Khmer language this is very special because you don't you don't have this in other languages and now let's switch to Korean Korean script is very very easy to learn and it's very special it's like some blocks you put them together and uh, there is a very good uh, video made by Hyunwoo san so if you want to if you want to know more about Korean script you can uh, watch the video it's very uh, easy to learn so for example you would uh, put the M here the A here and the L under and it will it will be mal but you don't write it just like in English like this but you read you you write it M A L. Okay, this is uh, special. What is special about Japanese and Chinese? The books are printed in other sides. So you you open a book like this, like this, not like uh, in a French book or uh, an English book like this. And we write in column in columns from right to left. So this is very different. And the Arabic and Hebrew they write uh, from right to left. In, in lines you don't have that in other languages I, I believe I don't I, I'm not sure what is special about uh, about Spanish Spanish is the only language where you have those two uh, those signs uh, Spanish is the only language where you have this when you begin a question you put the question mark but reverse and when you end the question with this, and this is for exclamation. Wow, wow, wow. This is uh, the special feature I found for a Spanish, um, Japanese, three ways of writing. You have uh, two syllables, I don't know how to say this in English, and uh, the Chinese symbols kanji. So they mix three ways to write. Uh, Japanese. This is why Japanese script is uh, a little bit complicated. Um, Japanese language. This, and uh, it's also Japanese and Chinese, which is also special about it, is that uh, you have one character, but you can sometimes in Chinese you can uh, write it. Uh, you can write the same but pronounce it differently. Uh, for example, in Chinese you have the symbol. Uh, this symbol, very basic symbol this symbol le uh, this can be uh, read le or liao uh, uh, so pu liao so pu liao it's not possible to um, support it so pu liao uh, le can be used like uh, wo lai le i am coming wo lai le le so the same the same thing can be uh, can be um can be read uh, in several ways and in Japanese you have this also unyomi kunyomi so for example you can say ugokasu um, ugokasu ugokasu ugo ugo um, i think it's like this i i forgot if you have the ka or not ugokasu uh, it's here ugokasu and uh, if you write like this the same symbol uh, mm, but you add something uh, like this the same symbol but you add you add this undo undo uh, it means uh, sports uh, but undo and Ugokashi, it's not the same writing. So, and what is special about when you know Chinese and you learn Japanese, you can uh, you can read. Actually, you cannot pronounce the kanji because you don't know how to pronounce the kanji in Japanese, but you can read it in Chinese. So you can understand the meaning of the kanji if it's not different from Chinese, but you know you cannot pronounce it. It's very special because I never had this in another language. Knowing. The meaning without knowing how to read it, how to pronounce it. It's very strange. And um, yeah, 
uh, I will make a second part for this. I think it's very interesting. Uh, special features about some languages. This is the first part. I will make the second.